This is music. This is performance. This is artistry. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be analyzing and listening to a great, a great ensemble, the Miami Boys Choir. I'm really excited to take a look at Yerushalayim, the song that went so viral on TikTok, and let's figure out and analyze why exactly this was so popular. Let's go. It's pretty impressive for a choir to have a setting like this. There are lights, there's smoke, speakers, a huge audience. I mean, I'm blown away and we're only 18 seconds in. I can already tell this is a special group. To get a group of young men to learn choreography like this, that's polished, that's clean, and they have expression on their faces and they want to be there, that's pretty impressive. So the choreography doesn't just end after the intro. We have choreography during the singing. Choreography and singing at the same time, that's not easy to do, especially when you're, what, 12 years old? By the looks of it, most of this ensemble is in the about nine years old to 15 years old range. I could be wrong, but that's a really intense time for your voice. Your voice is about to drop. It's probably cracking a lot. You might feel like you need to push or yell. And this singer to start has a beautiful voice. I didn't, I didn't see any strain or pushing there. So I'm interested to see how the rest of the ensemble does. So two for two, unbelievable sound and good mic technique and all these things. These guys are well-trained. This is a, this is a solid ensemble. Kids are not, they're really good. We're literally a minute and 13 seconds in and I'm blown away by the sound quality of these soloists so far. I mean, they're at this age where their voice is changing. It could crack at any moment. Every day. It could change at any moment and they're handling it so well. I remember when I was at that age and I was not this confident and I definitely did not sound this good. Also, what I really love is the showmanship. I mean, these guys are giving it. They're, there's nobody shying away from the spotlight. They are, they are grabbing it by the horns. The Miami Boys Choir is giving us a clear example of what I like to call wholehearted singing. In other words, no one is holding back. Just do it! And I say this to my students all the time. If you're scared of what sound is going to come out of your mouth or what that high note is going to sound like, then odds are it's not going to sound very good. If you're, if you're holding back and you're reserved about it, you're probably not going to succeed in that moment. But if you just give it, if you go for it, take that leap of faith, it's going to sound good. And that's what this ensemble is doing really, really well. I mean, look at their facial expressions. Look at the tone of voice. Look at the energy that they're giving. That's why they're so good. That's why they went viral.
keep forgetting that this is a reaction video. I have to be stopping and starting a little bit more. I just want to listen to it. I don't want it to stop. They're also a great example of ensemble singing and just being a group together. When you sing solo, it's really just you and you kind of have to rely on yourself. But the beauty of a choir is you can rely on other singers and they can rely on you. It's a group effort and, and that's, that's what this is. Everybody's given it, everybody's engaged, everybody wants to be there. And that's the key, that's the secret sauce is wanting to be there and loving the music. You shall lie, you shall lie. What I'm really impressed with with this group is the level of vocal technique. What I look for in singers with vocal technique is, are there any moments of strain? Are they, are they doing something, contorting their bodies to try and achieve a sound? And I don't see that at all here. One thing that I do notice, especially with the soloist, is everybody's smiling so much that they're getting this beautiful brightness in tone because of that kind of smile, the cheekbones, there's a lot of resonance, there's a lot of sound happening, and they're not having to strain their voices because of that, so that's awesome. Let's listen to these soloists again, and I want you to notice, especially the middle soloist, how much smile and lift there is in the face. That's helping with that bright tone. Let's listen. So this soloist on the right, and actually the one on the left too, they've got great presence in the face. And we don't really think about that much, but there's a lift there. We're getting that brightness. The sound is kind of a beacon out of the forehead, really bright, really light, nice and forward, no pushing. Great singing. Wow. Bullet points. And then they do, hey, and there's a big H on that, and it's super forward and super bright, just like they were singing it. I mean, these are these are good singers. They are well trained. They are well practiced. I'm just I'm blown away. No no wonder they went viral. Choreography. It's so solid. It's so locked in. It's just, just ah. I think the best part of this ensemble is not the sound, which is world-class, but it's the fact that they're having so much fun. Everybody looks like they really want to be there. The showmanship is through the roof. They're really putting on a good show for the audience, which for young guys like this is pretty uncommon. It's pretty rare. And if I were, when I was that age, I don't think I would have been so enthusiastic like this. So good for them. This is, this is incredible. That is high belting for a young man. When we think of, of boys aged, you know, nine to about 13, we think of that sort of quintessential boy soprano. Or if we think of even a boy's choir, we think of male sopranos. <laughs> And instead, with this ensemble, we're getting really clean, healthy belting. And I'm, I'm just blown away. That's that's really high. And I'm, I'm looking carefully at what's happening in the vocal tract. I don't see any tension. I don't see any pushing or straining. And I think if there were, we would hear that in the tone as well. We would hear that strain. There might be some voice cracks, but this sounds great. Almost sounds auto-tuned. It's so clean. I mean, look at his face. He's so excited to be there, to be singing. And I think they really truly understand what they're singing about and they're celebrating it. This is music. This is performance. This is artistry. Key 
key changes are the best. If you can get them to work well, it's magical. I'm so excited. We're going back and listening to that again. I think the directors come in or or someone somebody's come in and and they're hyping us up this is great so we're gearing up to what i'm sure is going to be a super dramatic intense ending we've got the leader of the group here He's hyping us up. We're getting ready to go. This will be exciting. A few key takeaways with this is that just because you're young doesn't mean you can't sing well. They showed this in this video. Their sound was really great. The vocal technique was so solid. There was no straining, there was no voice cracks, there was no yelling. Also, just because you're a choir doesn't mean you can't bring the smoke. It doesn't mean you can't bring that intensity, that energy, the showmanship. It's really inspiring. I don't do that in my choirs. I wish I did. Maybe I will in the future, but overall, a solid performance. There's no question as to why this went viral. It's so exciting and these kids are so talented that people just wanna celebrate that. Well, I'm inspired and I'm going to try and figure out how I can make my choirs as cool as the Miami Boys Choir. That's it for today's video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you wanna support me as a creator and get access to behind the scenes footage, bonus content and all that good stuff, then please consider subscribing to my Patreon. And if you want free singing resources, click the link in my bio. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, you